Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in to Wine Time TV. I'm your resident wino and aficionado wannabe, Camry Phillips. I hope you're all having a pretty terrific wine harvest and wine travel season. I know I am, which is why this seems like the perfect time to bring part one of a new wine harvest report brought to you by our new best friends, our new BFFs, <laughs> a couple of winos over at bkwinetours.com. So cheers to Brit and Pear. Okay, let's start with a brief glimpse of uh, what we've seen of the 2014 wine harvest so far. And in staying true to saving the best for last, let's start with the worst harvest of this year. And it really breaks my heart to have to say it. It was Veneto with Val Policella. I'm sorry guys, believe me, if I were related to Mother Nature or could pull any sort of strings, I would have definitely asked her to help you out because you needed it. Yes, it goes without saying, 2014 is likely to go down in history as one of the worst years for this hilly, agricultural, and marble quarrying region just east of uh, Lake Garda in the province of Verona. They are, they are, of course, famous for wine production. Well, this year, of course, I think they're more famous for getting tons of rain. Really, it's been just ridiculous. It's been non-stop at times. And, of course, has led to poorly and unevenly ripened grapes. Sadly, and that's the worst bit, many producers have decided not to make any Amarone this year. Now, Amarone, Amarone, <laughs> Amarone, Emerald is this one, one of course, uh, is, tip, is typically, it's a rich Italian dry red wine and it's made from partially dried grapes uh, of the Corvina and other approved red grape varieties as well are often thrown in there. Anyway, Emerald in mean, Italian literally means the great bitter. Uh, oh, speaking of bitter, things haven't fared too well in Tuscany either, sorry to report. It's been one of the most difficult harvests in memory. Rain, rain, and, well, more rain. Pretty much throughout the entire summer. And believe it or not, they got a couple of hailstorms. I mean, with hail the size of golf balls. No, no, not kidding. Oh, and did I mention a tornado? No joke, the gods of wine were obviously not shining down on Tuscany. No sun. At any rate, it will be a small harvest, and as to quality, well, no one really wants to even talk about that yet. So, it's just likely safe to say, stay away from 2014 vintages from Tuscany. I don't know if it's worth the, worth the risk. All right, I'm just about out of time, but I don't want to leave you on, you know, a total down or no. So, some good news for all of you uh, Rioja drinking winos out there. If you are a newbie like myself, Rioja is made from grapes grown not only in the autonomous community of La Rioja, but uh, also in parts of Navarre and the Basque province of Alava. Huh, I'm so worldly. Now Rioja, Rioja is further sub, uh, subdivided, they break it up into three bits. Rioja Alta, Rioja Baja, and Rioja Alavesca. Yeah. So in general, we can expect very good vintage here in 2014. All the signs point to it. They got healthy grapes, they had a great killer warm summer, and unlike 2013 where they kind of was really crappy, they were pretty much in humidity. Uh, this was a, you know, this year's a complete turnaround. So thumbs up, big cheers for Rioja fans. That's just about does it for me today. So that comes to another end of Wine Time TV. I'll be back soon with another Wine Harvest Report brought to you by bkwinetours.com. So definitely head over there, check them out, and uh, learn about all their services. Um, be sure to subscribe to Wine Time at winetimetv.net. Don't forget about us. And we certainly appreciate a like at our facebook.com slash winetimetv page. I think it's gonna be shining down there anyway, so you can read that. 
That's it, I guess, huh? All right, I'm Camry Phillips. Cheers, wine out. Wine on.